Harley Davidson is turning 120 in 2023, and to celebrate, we thought we'd try something a little different. Introducing the Road Glide 3 trike. Now, this is gonna be fun. A three-wheel motorcycle might seem like a little bit of a novelty, but Harley Davidson's relationship with trikes goes all the way back to 1932, when it first produced the Serbi car, a utility vehicle that lasted until 1973. Fast forward to modern times and the motor company's trike range is a far cry from those early three-wheelers. There are three trikes currently in the range, including the entry-level three-wheeler and the top-of-the-line Tri-Glide Ultra. But the model we're looking at here is the mid-level Road Glide 3, which starts at a rather large price point, just shy of 59k right away. And if the name of the bike didn't give it away, the Road Glide 3 adopts a lot of features from the two-wheel Road Glide Special, including the Shark Nose fairing and the Milwaukee 114 V-Twin engine. The big V-Twin puts out a huge 159 Nm, meters, but only 87 horsepower, while the engine is also complemented by a 6-speed gearbox and a 22.7 litre fuel tank. Now, the whole purpose of a trike is comfort, and when you hop in the saddle, it's clear that Harley-Davidson has ticked that box quite easily. It has a relatively low seat height of 700mm, the handlebars are nicely positioned, and the floorboards give you plenty of legroom. All in all, it's pretty good. But to be honest, there isn't a whole lot of difference compared to the two-wheel version, except for one small detail. You can sit stationary on the bike without putting your feet on the ground, adding another layer of comfort, especially for those who might struggle to hold up a big, heavy two-wheel motorcycle. And that's not the only benefit of a three-wheeler, because it allows for plenty of storage space too, and HD has made full use of that with this sizable rear boot. The rear trunk is lockable and has plenty of room for your luggage, and it still allows for a sizable pillion seat too. And for nearly 60 grand, you'd hope that Harley has included plenty of tech, and fortunately it has, starting with this full-colour TFT and infotainment system. As well as offering FM and AM radio through the two fairing-mounted speakers, the Rogue Glide 3 also caters for smartphone connectivity, giving you access to music, phone calls, and navigation while on the road. There is plenty happening in the safety department too, with cornering ABS and traction control, drag torque slip control, and cruise control all included as standard. On paper, the Road Glide 3 is not all that different from its two-wheel cousin, but the on-road experience is a whole other ballgame. If you've never ridden a trike before, the first thing you'll notice is that it's not a motorcycle. That might seem like an obvious statement, but trust me, when you first start moving, you'll quickly realise that this is like no other experience. The rear end of the trike moves around a lot, and while you can trust the stability of having three wheels, it is still a wild ride all the same. But the real challenge is cornering, which requires a complete rewiring of your motorcycling brain. Turning a trike is quite a physical movement and you rely on direct steering rather than counter steering like you would on a two-wheeler. The machine also tends to understeer, so you have to move your body quite a bit to help complete the turn. But with a low centre of gravity and a wide presence on the road, the trike is very stable and only an extreme situation would see it tip over. Outside of the handling dynamics, the Rogue Glide 3 ride experience is not that far removed from other Harley motorcycles. The large dose of torque gets you up and moving in no time, and the rumble of the Milwaukee 8V Twin never gets old. Sure, it might have three wheels and a lot of extra weight, but when you're in motion, you still get the same thrills as you would on any other two-wheel cruiser or bagger. It's only when you arrive at a tight corner or stop at the traffic lights that you remember you're on a three-wheeler. It's fair to say that the trike won't be everyone's cup of tea, and with a hefty price tag, it's hard to imagine motorcyclists making the switch unless they really have to. But despite all that, this motorcycle still has a lot of charm, and it deserves a firm place in HD's long and storied history. Long live the trike. Well, that trike was certainly a lot of fun, and we would love to hear what you think about it. Let us know in the comments below. And if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more videos in the very near future.